Hello everyone. I am here today to show you one of my journals that will be in my Etsy shop as soon as my Etsy shop is up and going. This one is called Layered Laces Prayer Journal. The cover, as you can see, is layered with lace. This is an old, well, an antique collar. We have uh, tassels and velvet ribbon. We have another antique collar on the back and various lace lace layers and a vintage button here is another tassel on the spine with a, a holy spirit charm on here the closure is um, a vintage uh, applique just uh, tucked into a, um, a hook a sewing hook okay let's see if we can get this centered and in frame here are some little goodies at the right at the front. I love this little tag and this tiny little vintage button. That is just fun with some music paper on there, some vintage hymn paper, a tiny envelope with uh, some stamps inside, vintage plate. Here is a um, a blessings journal nameplate you can use if you choose. I have I have begun this journal with vintage. Um, linens, older linens that I have cut apart and put put in this journal. Here is an envelope with uh, writing space on the inside. So this journal is 6.5 by 11. It has a 2.5 inch spine uh, and it has 188 pages. So I'm just going to whiz through this as quickly as I can uh, so as not to make this video too long. Here is another vintage uh, linen piece with some tulle behind it. We have a lot of scripture tags. And most of these scripture tags are from Tsunami Rose. I also have, uh, this one is also Tsunami Rose. I have uh, pictures and, and, and printables from the Graphics Fairy. I've done some stamping some uh, avocado dyed papers and some more lace. These papers are from My Porch Prints. There's more from the Graphics Fairy. I love these, these antique uh, calendars with the scripture on them. The, the artwork is just beautiful. They're from the 1800s. More scripture tags and, and uh, vintage images and old, old lace that I have come by. Here's some children. Um, this printable, this graphic is from Milena Art Design. I also use pieces from Digital Scrap Helper. There's some embossed paper and some more scripture tags. Now here I have, if you can see it, I have, um, this journal has how many, how many, um, I think five, four or five signatures or sections in them, but I've included in all of my journals covered uh, paper clips where you can that you can use to designate sections for certain uses. We've got praise, petitions, answers, and declarations. So those can be moved around anywhere you choose, and you could reassign or reuse, retitle those sections uh, to use in, in uh, the way that works best for you in your walk with the Lord. I have tea stained uh, most of these papers and um, uh, inked around most of the edges just to uh, kind of frame it and also give more of that vintage antique look that I love. Here are some more tags and tucks more of the uh, vintage linens, tags created with doilies and trims. And here's another one with a little dangle, a little heart dangle and an old button. I have a lot of buttons from my mom, from my husband's grandma, and uh, I, I include a lot of these vintage buttons in my journals. All right, also book tags, book bookmarks from um, Graphics Fairy with a journaling space on the back, poetry and more vintage image, imagery, uh, hymn, hymn pages, 
And this is, I think, by by J. Lee Lu. Yes. And some, uh, I've taken some uh, sheer ribbon and ruffled it. This is a square doily that I've made into an envelope and included some more uh, vintage ephemera. My porch prints. Now this this uh, lace is pretty pretty tattered. I don't know exactly how old it is, but it's uh, it's definitely uh, an antique look. And you'll see it didn't go on quite as straight as I would like, but you know, just so you're aware, this is a perfectly imperfect. Uh, junk journal style with with lots of imperfections that can always be covered up. Here are some envelopes included in this large page size tuck. More of the um, vintage and antique uh, calendar refer um, images, floral images from the Graphics Fairy. Some more bookmarks with journaling space on the back. More places to add your own expressions. This is really just a starting point to, to let the, the user uh, put in their, their thoughts, their expressions, their, their petitions before God. And anything that the Lord tells you about, about scripture, about uh, his dreams for your future. My porch prints again. And so this is for you to you do your own expressing, your own... Um, um, make this journal yours and make it an expression of you in your walk with the Lord. Here's some more stamping, more hymn pages and, and ephemera. Here's some more ephemera from uh, Graphics Fairy about tea. And in here I've added some, some uh, vintage uh, fabric from, the, from these linens and some, some tea dyed uh, seam binding more of the uh, printable um, scripture cards from Tsunami Rose. And here, this, this is blossom paper art. This, uh, this background page with velvet ribbon and some more laces and additions here. Some more trim, some more hymn um, imagery. Children, this is again by Mal Malena Art Design. More tea stained paper, more uh, graphics fairy imageries. This is from Old Odul Odulcina, if I can uh, get to where I pronounce her her name right. Odulcina Annie. I can put a link to her shop in the description. She had I really enjoy her soft images. This is an Edith Holden little booklet that I've put in the center. And I've just left the the uh, signature um, strings here. They are secured. They're tied in a knot. But uh, someone else could could add buttons or or beads if you want to for that. So here's some more ruffling and um, uh, dictionary old advertisements. More ephemera. Look at this. Is that fun? Little, uh, now, where did I buy that from? Not sure. So here is more of the Blossom Paper Art. This, I believe, was um, uh, the Graphics Fairy. Now, on the bottom of this journal, there's just a lot of waterfall effect from from the laces and the and the tassels. I've just let them spill over onto the edge because it looks luxurious to me. Here's some more of uh, my porch prints. This is the paper by Odul Sina. <laughs> and this is one of her kits that I am just using uh, quite a bit. I love these, these soft, soft rose images. More scripture tags here in this pocket. Avocado dyed paper again. A flip out, more journaling space. More old lace, and as you see, um, if someone is is bothered by the fact that this didn't sew on very straight, uh, you can just glue something over that, or or um, you could probably just cut that edge off. 
this uh, this artwork here is from Gypsy Journal Company. The Gypsy Journal Company has some just stunning images with great depth of detail and great color um, included. Wonderful, wonderful artwork. This page I put together myself with some with some images from the Graphics Fairy, and I, I made that. Um, okay, more tuck spaces. And more more tags from Odulcina. And uh, more scripture tags here. Plenty of places to include all of your own observations and what you hear from the Lord. More tiny envelopes and more scriptures tucked in here with old buttons. We're getting to the last signature here, and I've, I have again added some drippy lace on the bottom, old buttons, along with pieces from various old linens. And this, this uh, section could be the declarations that you speak over your life, over your family, over your nation. Here is a decorated envelope that I've just uh, placed there for a pocket along with some cheesecloth and some seam binding and a little little trim. And in here I've just tucked some more of the um, scripture verses. This is, I believe this might be Maggie Red design, or it could be, it could be more of Tsunami Rose. I believe this one is Maggie Red designs. Here's some uh, vintage sewing patterns from a book. I love this delicate lace on this edge. Here's some more scripture. My people shall dwell in quiet resting places. And here's our Philippians 4, be anxious for nothing. More advertisements. Lots of blank paper to add your own touches. Tags. More scripture tags. Vintage images from the graphics fairy. I love this poem. I love this image. But this poem where the mama bird is encouraging her young birds to, to leave the nest, to fly, to try their wings. And uh, I particularly like that. Here's a nest image from Graphics Theory and some more uh, tags and places to journal. Love these birds. This is from... This is from... <laughs> now I've lost my, my note here. This is from... Uh, the scrap helper, yes, digital scrap helper is what this image is from. Their, their English cottage image. More scripture in this old, old. Um, yes, be still, my soul. Thy God doth undertake. More of these rich images from the Gypsy Journal Company. These uh, narrow pages for journaling and for taking notes for Bible study for scripture references. These are from Screech Owl Studios, and it's their French perfume kit. Okay, here's some more of this of this uh, old um, linen to to finish up our our journal here with more scripture tags. Mightier than the waves of the sea is his love for you, and uh, more things to tuck in this belly band. That's called. Another upper tuck with some more Odocina and some more envelopes. And these soft, soft images of uh, children discovering a, a nest, a cottage image. More nest and birds, moths and butterflies. And here's a more vibrant rose image. And these, I love these little um, envelope clusters. I hear that Girl on the Ridge, uh, maybe it maybe made the first video about them. I learned about these from Odocina Annie, and, and I really love making these envelope clusters. Here's a little envelope with some surprises inside, and it's a tuck spot, so you can stick some things back there. Okay, the other half of the sewing instructions, and look at this. Look at this precious one. Look at that little girl with her, with her uh, hands under her chin like that. My daughter did that when we first started taking her pictures. Okay, and stamps and more uh, tuck spaces. And old, old music with someone's handwriting in pencil. 
someone's handwritten notes on this old music. I just love that. And your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So that's the end of this book, of this layered lace and tassels prayer journal. I am getting my Etsy shop up, so I'm, I'm sure it will be listed there soon. Jody's Journal Joy. Thanks for watching. Bye.